I've got my sourdough in the Instant Pot proofing. And next, I'm going to be making some delicious white bean and ham soup. Whenever we have ham, I make sure we get one that has a bone in it so we can save the bone specifically for this soup. And I'm going to be using this occasion to review this Usotin cutting board. This cutting board comes in a box that's suitable for gifting. Let's just take a look what's inside. We have a nice welcome message from you, Soten. And beneath that, just look at what's inside this box. Isn't this gorgeous? It's got, uh, it looks like it's about one and a half inches thick. It has feet on the bottom. And it's got a track for liquids, I guess. I almost hate to use this because I know this is the be most beautiful this is going to look. Once I start using it, it's going to get, well, it's going to get some character. That's what we're going to add character to this today. This recipe has a lot of prep. I do want to get a chance to really give this cutting board a try. And you're welcome to watch. First of all, I need a cup of diced yellow onion. I assume that uh, two will be sufficient, but we'll see what happens. I've got more if I need it. I wanted to clear off all the onion skins before I started to actually mince the onions. And one thing that I didn't notice before, but came in handy, are these handles cut into the side of the cutting board. I like that. It made it easy to transport the cutting board to the sink. So just thought I'd mention it as long as I was in my process of discovery. Ooh, it's powerful onion. Oh man, blind. Ooh. Ooh, the soup is going to be good. <laughs> All right, so this is a cup and change. I was going to store the extra, but uh, uh, nobody ever said this soup has too much onion. So I'm just going to be using it all. Next, I'm going to be mincing three cloves of garlic. Actually, I just noticed the recipe called for two cloves, but I already got the third one, so I'm going to use it. I have been rinsing the cutting board between steps and I don't know if it makes this cutting board special, but it rinses easily. And so I thought I'd just make a note of it as long as I'm reviewing this. I'm going to put the cutting board up against the Ulu knife because it's fun. And this kind of is brutal on cutting boards. I have my potatoes peeled and now it's time to slice and dice. It looks like two potatoes would have been plenty. I already have this one peeled, so I'm just going to add it. Two generous cups. Once I got these carrots peeled, I noticed that some of them were a little scrawny, so I'm adding an extra carrot. I think it'll be fine.
Next, I'm going to wash and slice two stalks of celery. I love the cutting board. It, let me just, I'll show it to you here. It, uh, it, yeah, it, it got a uh, scratch from the knives and, and, but I don't think that's bad. It just, it makes it look, makes it look like somebody uses, somebody cooks and uh, I have no problem with that. Um, you, you could probably polish this up and fill those in as, as desired, but I, I don't have a problem with the scratches at all. You'll still need to clean it. I think I saw one of the internet chefs clean it with uh, vinegar and water, but I've had enough for tonight. Uh, cutting board, that's, that's a five out of five. It's beautiful, it's durable. It's, it doesn't move when I'm cutting things on it. It's a solid piece. It's, if it's so heavy, it's not going anywhere. I, I think that's it for tonight. So thanks for stopping by.